I've seen those faces I've heard all the lies But you ain't gazing On someone in denial Cause you want dollar bills right now But you gotta work real hard I know you Good morning everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Let's go in a different room because Leo is watching his iPad loudly. Hi, welcome back. I am feeling and sounding a bit rough this morning. This one, they're both to blame, to be honest. I can't only blame you though, can I? You're both to blame. This one um, did a poo at like, I think it was about 4 a.m and obviously i had to change him and then it just woke him up and he was just wide awake and i don't think he really fell back to sleep till about five then after that leo woke up two or three times just asking if it was the morning yet <laughs> to which i was like no go back to sleep this clock change everyone says it's brilliant you gain an extra hour i feel like it's just messed my kids up completely i feel like it's done the opposite of what it's supposed to do to be honest but one exciting thing about the clocks changing means that it's winter and guys it is the 2nd of november today i couldn't vlog yesterday because i was in london yesterday so yesterday is a, the 1st of november today's the 2nd but i vlogged as soon as i could because it is officially Christmas. Look at his face, he's like, oh, well, you better get used to this. This is how it works in this house. So we are getting into the spirit of things today. I wanna take down all my pumpkin bits and bobs today. And we are going to head over to B&M and we're gonna check out their Christmas bit. And we're gonna start to get in the mood for things today. I also have received my first Christmas present in the post. I bought a couple of bits and bobs for Leo, but like this is the first big sort of family Christmas present um, that I've got and it came in the post just a couple of days ago and I've got that to share with you and it is something else. The most sentimental, special, present that you could get for someone that you care about and I'm going to share it with you in a moment when I head upstairs. So yeah that's what this is, this is like the first day of Christmas vlog guys. But first of all I need to make breakfast for Leo who's over there and you, you both need breakfast first. So we are dressed, this is about as glam as it gets today. Standard mum ensemble. Now I'm coming up to the spare room because this is like my little Christmas hideaway. Does anyone else hide all their Christmas presents in the spare room? I'm gonna show you the most amazing gift. First of all, before I start talking about this, this is a Christmas gift for my mother-in-law, for Clint's mum. Now I don't think she watches YouTube. I'm 90% sure she doesn't watch YouTube. But if, however, you happen to be watching this video, <laughs> go away, <laughs> turn it off, do not watch, because this is a Christmas present for you and I do not want you to see it, so please stop watching. So basically, this gift is from Paint Your Life. So Paint Your Life is an online service where you send in any photo and they create a hand-painted portrait of that photo so you choose from a team of world-class artists like these artists are insane the website is super easy to use and you can choose what sort of painting you'd like like there was line drawings there was charcoal oil and I went for acrylic so yeah the website was super super user-friendly and I went for acrylic because for the person that I was getting it for for my mother-in-law I thought that would definitely be the style that she would like most so you're probably desperate to see so here is the photo that I sent in to paint your life. I chose what sort of painting that I wanted and super, super fast. So I'd say like three weeks later, I received this. Look, oh my gosh. If I get closer, you can see like the detail 
and the quality look at his lips i love his lips they've got those so perfect and his big brown eyes there's leo giving him a cuddle i mean the quality is just insane but like i said these are world-class artists doing this so you know you know that you're getting a really good quality painting look at his hands i just love it so much and he has signed it coincidentally he has the same initials as me <laughs> so maybe i'll tell her that i painted it <laughs> no i'm joking she knows i cannot cannot paint anything like this but oh my gosh guys is that not the most special gift and it all came framed ready to give to her i wish i could show you like her reaction opening it but obviously it is a christmas present so she's not going to be opening it till christmas but i just thought it's so sentimental so special and just perfect for a christmas present and um, maybe you've got a particular photo that's really sentimental to you or to someone special to you for a particular reason, whatever that might be. This could be such a perfect Christmas present idea. And if that is what you're thinking, I do have a 20% off code to use for Paint Your Life as well. So I've put my 20% off code in the description box below. So if you wanna have a little go, have a little play on the website, see what, see what you like, see what style of painting you'd like to use, then use that code in the description box to get a juicy discount. Also, I think the best thing about Paint Your Life is there's no pressure. If you receive the final painting and you're not happy with it, you get refunded. And that is completely guaranteed. So there's just no, there's no pressure, there's no risk. If by any chance you're not happy with it, although I'm sure, I'm sure you would be, then you know that you can send it back and get refunded. So, so why not? I am going to get Leo dressed now. Cooper is dressed. I'm gonna get Leo dressed and it's school photo day today. <laughs> His first ever school photos. I keep saying it to him like, can you believe it? And he's looking at me like, what? He doesn't understand the significance of your first ever school photo. So I've ironed his uniform. I'm gonna make sure his face is pristine. I'm gonna style his hair, put on about a can load of hairspray so it doesn't move. Are you school photo ready? Yeah? Show me the smile you're gonna do. That is not what you're gonna do when he says, oh my gosh. I know you wanna go, I know you wanna go, we're going, we're going, we're going. Right, we have dropped Leo off at school and come straight to B&M. Oh, Cooper's just started crying, what's the matter? I thought he was asleep, but maybe not. Um, so we're gonna go in and browse the Christmas stuff. And I better hurry up and get him out, because he's, he's upset. Sorry guys, I got a little distracted there. We are actually back home, as you can see. Um, yeah, I got a little distracted because my mother-in-law, the, the same mother-in-law who the painting upstairs is for, she actually works at the BLM that we went to. So obviously we were stopped and we're chatting to her. And then there was a little next door to BM. So I thought, oh, maybe I'll just do my food shop now. Yeah, I got a little distracted, but got a lot done. Poor Cooper had a proper meltdown in Lidl. I think he's just really um, overtired. He didn't really nap for long enough on the way to BM and then woke up. And obviously he was excited to be there. There was lots to look at. And then he saw his nanny and everything. And um, yeah, by the time we got to Lidl, he was like furious. So he's fast asleep now. I've kept him in the car seat. Hopefully he'll have a decent nap in there. And while he's asleep, I will just put the food shopping away. I gave you a little, a little glimmer of all of the Christmas goodies and I got a lot, but I'm going to save that for a separate video. So keep your eyes peeled for that and I will do a separate video detailing all the Christmas bits that I got today. Hello, puppy. Thankfully, this little one has woken up in a very happy mood. Hello, my darling. You dropped your fish. Would you like it back? Oh, would you like it? Oh, yeah. 
Oh yeah. So we are just having a chill, aren't we? On the sofa with our favorite, favorite YouTube channel. It's all about Hay Bear and Nick Coops. Uh, I've managed to put the food away, so that is one thing. While I'm chilling with Coopy on the sofa, I think I'll just um, do some emails and some admin on my phone because I got some emails when we were out and about, so I'll get that done. And what I think I'll do is wait for his next nap, and that's when I will start to put away all my pumpkins and things because, you know, I don't know if I mentioned, but it's Christmas. But I think I'll wait till you're asleep to do that one, little man. And he'll be due a bottle any minute now. I'm waiting for him to moan, really. And as soon as he moans, I will go and get it for him. Tomorrow, I'm going to film a what my six-month-old eats in a day. So that means milk and solids. And I'm just going to go through what a day looks like for him eating-wise. If anyone's interested, I am going to film that tomorrow. Aren't I, pop it? stars come to shine when it's dark from so far away show us where we are what makes the sun go to sleep every night and what's it dreaming of i wonder Sky sometimes hides behind the clouds. Maybe it's just like me. A little he has just woken up from an epic nap. I put him down in his bed. Are you scratching the sofa? Don't you scratch the sofa. Little cats. I put him down in his bed, and he was there long enough for me to like put away all the pumpkin bits that you saw. And then he just started crying. I've just done a couple of times today, which is not like him. I'm wondering if it's teeth or something. So anyway, I ran upstairs, got him, picked him up, brought him down on the sofa with me, and he slept there for like two hours. <laughs> so he obviously really needed sleep. And yeah, I mean, he doesn't sleep on me every day anymore. Like he naps most of the time in his room. So on those occasions when he does sleep on me, I just love it. And I'll just stop what I'm doing, just sit down and let him sleep so that's what we did and now it is half past two and we will have to leave in half an hour to go and get big bro i'm hoping that i will have well i will have time if i leave sort of um 10 15 minutes earlier than normal i'd like to swing by the vets on the way on the school run because trevor is out of his medicine and i need to pick up some more today because he's literally gonna run out tonight he has medicine every day for lots of things uh, but the most serious medicine that he has is um because he has seizures so it um helps with his seizures so it's very important that i pick that up today after i get leo i'm gonna have to take both boys into asda quickly cooper is out of baby milk and little didn't have any earlier and i also need printer paper i wanted to film a reel today for some firework night resources that have gone onto my website and obviously firework night is looming it's on saturday so i want to make some content for all my new firework stuff and um i've got no printer paper so it's kind of impossible without printer paper oh i also have leo's first parents evening this evening but obviously because of everything what the world is like nowadays is via zoom so it's at 10 past six so i'll have to make sure that cooper is in bed he usually goes to bed at six so that shouldn't be a problem and then i'm going to sit down and chat with leo's teacher at 10 past six got some ex that's something really exciting to look forward to i can't wait to talk to her about how he's been settling in for his first term just doing some homework aren't you leo that looks yeah. good so i picked him up from school went and got the things that i needed from asda the vets was a right palaver it took me ages to get there because there were roadworks and then when i got there their computer system was down so i wouldn't have been, even been able to pay for my <laughs> medication <sighs> never mind i'll just get it in the morning he has enough for tonight and then as long as i go first thing in the morning come back and give it to him um it should be fine it's fine so while he's doing his homework i'm gonna start making the dinner 
I'm gonna make I'm gonna make spaghetti tonight, Leo. Oh, yeah? yeah, spaghetti bolognese. And guess guess who else is gonna eat it? Cooper. I'm gonna let Cooper have some bolognese sauce for the first time ever. Is he? Yeah. Which is exciting because life gets so much easier when they start to eat the same things as you. No. Careful, two hands. Look at your drink, two hands. That looks lovely. So I'm gonna cook that up in a minute because on a school day, I don't know about your kids, but on a school day, Leo always wants to have dinner like super early by four, half four. He's like, can we have dinner now? So I'm gonna make that up so it's ready and I'll make it baby friendly so no added salt or anything. And um, I'm just gonna let the boys have a little chill time while I'm doing that. You cozy. Mm -hmm. Good boy. He hated the bolognese FYI, I absolutely hated it. I think it was more the texture, like because he's only had like vegetable and fruit puree up until now and they are so super smooth so all of a sudden it was like you know lumpy even though I blended it you know it still has texture to it so he was just like horrified <clears throat> so we went for a trusty sweet potato dinner instead but I'll keep trying win some lose some you just have to persevere with these things when you're weaning I'll try again in a week I also gave him avocado for the first time and he was horrified about that as well so it was a bit of a it was a bit of a lose tonight's dinner leo is also eating at a snail's pace so i've just had to take his ipad away until that dinner is gone so <laughs> not not an overly successful dinner time to be honest with you and i'm eager to get these boys in the bath because i've got leo's parents evening at six and i want them bathed i want this one in bed um nice and early so that I'm free to talk to Leo's teacher. So anyway, I'm gonna call it a day there on the vlog and end there. But guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget I have that 20% off discount code for Paint Your Life, where you can get the most beautiful, most sentimental, special present for someone. I can't wait to give mine on Christmas day. It's going to be so lovely. So thank you so much for watching, guys. And we'll see you in our next video. Oh, yes we will. You say bye-bye. Can you say bye-bye? Yeah.